Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites, jesusheelsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read about marriage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us turn to the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. Isaiah 54 verse 5 For our Maker is our husband, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. The Lord of hosts is Jehovah's name. And the Redeemer, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy One of Israel, the God Jehovah of the whole earth, shall he be called Jehovah. Verse 6 For the Lord Jehovah has called thee as a woman, forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou wast refused, saith thy God Jehovah. Verse 7 For a small moment have I forsaken thee, Jesus. But with great mercies will I gather thee, Jesus. In a little wrath I hid my face from you, Jesus, for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on you, Jesus, says our Holy Father, the Lord God, our Redeemer, Jehovah. Also let us turn to the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 14. The Lord has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet she is thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. Verse 15. And did not Jesus make one, yet had he the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, that Jesus might seek a godly seed? Therefore take, to your, therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. Verse 16, For the Lord God Jehovah, the God of Israel, Jehovah says that he hates putting away or divorce. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit that ye deal not treacherously. Also Ephesians, in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 25, Husbands, love your wives even as Jesus Christ of Nazareth also loves us all, the church, and you gave yourself for us all, Jesus. Verse 26, That Jesus might sanctify the church and cleanse the church with the washing of water by the word. By your word, Jesus, we are pure and clean. Verse 27, That Jesus might present us all to Jesus self, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. In other words, we got to repent from our sins because Jesus has forgiven us and turn away from every evil deed. In the name of Jesus Christ, for us. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Verse 30, For we are members of Jesus' body, of Jesus' flesh, and of your bones, Jesus. Verse 32, This is a great mystery, but I, Paul, speak concerning Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the church of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lamb of our Lord God, Jehovah, the Lamb's wife, the church, all of us here on this planet Earth, and in heaven above and those who are in hell below. Hebrews chapter 13, Verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all people, and the marriage bed kept undefiled or kept pure in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my two websites, jesusheelsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. Jesus provides for us all, always, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.